Hi, Mr. Manolan. How are you doing? Hi, lady. I'm fine. Let me be just straight to the point. I've got something to ask you. What is it? Which one of these sentences is correct? I was born on March 3rd, or I was born in March 3rd. Oh, that's kind of preposition of time. Do you want me to answer directly or by my explanation? Ma'am, I'd like to listen to your explanation first. All right. English preposition of time. What is a preposition of time? A preposition of time is a preposition that allows you to discuss a specific time period, such as a date on the calendar, one of the days of the week, or the actual time something takes place. There are two types of time prepositions in English. First, we will take a look at the basic time prepositions at, in, and on. Secondly, we will cover the functional time prepositions after, before, by, during, for, from, in, to and until or till. Let's deal first with, at, in, and on. Specifically, we use, at, for a precise time, in, for months, seasons, years, centuries, and long periods, and, on, for days, and dates. Let's discuss them in detail. We use, at, for precise time, such as, at plus o'clock. Example, meet me at seven o'clock, at plus p.m., or a.m. Example, I have a meeting at nine a.m., at noon. Example, we have lunch at noon every day, at night. Example, I heard him talking at night, at dinner time. Example. I know of a child who used to go home at dinner time to cook himself chips. At bedtime. Example. I like a hot milky drink at bedtime. At sunrise. Example. At sunrise, the sun looks like a cake. At sunset. Example. They stopped work at sunset. And, at the moment. Example. The house is being built at the moment. We use, in plus part of day, months, seasons, years, centuries and long periods of time. Example. In the morning. I like to go out on walks in the morning. In the evening. I never drink coffee late in the evening. In month. Many people travel to Florida in January and February. In the season. I don't like to take courses in the summer. It is cold in Chicago in the winter. In year, or years. The Winter Olympics were held in Vancouver in 2010. The astronauts explored the moon in the 1960s. In centuries. Example. Automobiles and airplanes became very popular in the 20th century. We use, on. Plus days, dates, and special dates. Examples. On plus day. I have English classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. On plus dates. My brother and I are driving to Chicago on December 10th. World War I started on September 1st, 1939. On plus special dates, or dates of celebration. Examples. My wife and I met on Independence Day 10 years ago. We'll arrive on Christmas Day. We always have a huge celebration on New Year's Eve. On plus weekend. I don't work on weekends. I only work on weekdays. Alright, here is the notes and tips for you. If, at, in, or, at plus parts of day, then we say. At down. At noon. At night. At midnight. In the morning. In the mornings. In the afternoons. In the evenings. On Tuesday morning. On Saturday mornings. On Sunday afternoons. On Monday evenings. If, on, or in. Is followed by month. Then remember these. Use on. 
if it is followed by date and month. Example. My brother and I are driving to Chicago on December 10th. But use, in, if it is only followed by month. For example. My classes start in September. Next, use on, if it is followed by date, month, and year. Example. Kathy was born on Friday, July 3rd, 1998. But use, in, if it is followed by month and year, or when it is without date. Example. We moved to Colorado in April 2020. And the last, don't use prepositions with tomorrow, yesterday, next, every, and last. For example, compare these sentences. I went to the movies on yesterday. This sentence is incorrect. But, I went to the movies yesterday. Correct. I went to the movies on last Tuesday. This sentence is not correct. But, I went to the movies last Tuesday. Is correct. I graduated from college in last August. Is not correct. While. I graduated from college last August. Is correct. All right, let's test your understanding by these exercises. Instructions. Write down the sentences below. Use the correct preposition to complete the blank. I do number one as an example. 1. I like to go to the beach blank Saturdays. The answer is on. Well, continue doing number 2 to 10. You have 15 seconds to answer. Then the correct answers will appear. 2. Do you go to school blank Saturdays? Three. My best friend is moving to Japan blank August. He's leaving blank August 20th. Four. Don't forget to call your mother blank her birthday. Five. The course starts blank Monday, September 3rd. Six. Albert Einstein was born blank 1879. Seven. The United States became independent blank 1776, but the Constitution was signed 11 years later, blank September 17, 1787. Eight. What are you going to do blank New Year's Day? Nine. Where were you blank Christmas Day 2020? Ten. In the story, the character was born blank a Sunday blank 1886. That is preposition of time. Our next topic of discussion is preposition of place.